If you're a reseller or maybe you're just a human walking the earth, you're probably walking around with a little bit of this cash. I'm here to tell you that with just a very little, tiny little investment of your time, there's a few things to look out for. I'm gonna go over it in this video. I just wanted to make sure that people are aware that this is out there, that this cash that we're all walking around with does have value beyond the face value of the bill. And what I'm sharing now doesn't require any special time or skill or any kind of specific knowledge. It just takes 30 seconds of your time and to become a little bit familiar with a few details, which I'm also gonna show you in this video. And, and you basically, you learn it once and you know what to look for. And I'm just your typical everyday dude. I don't have special knowledge of this stuff and you don't need to be either. They're just a few things to keep an eye out for. Well, hey there, folks, and welcome back to the utter depths and despair of all of the internets and YouTube. Hey, over the course of my 574 years on Earth, I have picked up a few fun facts about money that every time I get a dollar, I check certain things. Mostly, it's all in the serial number. It literally takes less than a second to just scan the serial number and see if there's any kind of pattern going on. Obviously, people are aware that there is some real value in old coins and old paper money, that there's a whole collector's market. But what I'm telling you is that even modern money can really, for example, I'm gonna show you why this $1 bill, this $1 bill, I got changed at a garage sale. Again, I didn't do anything special other than rob the lady for all her money, but outside of robbing that lady for all her money, the serial number happens to make this single dollar bill. On the surface, it just looks like another dollar bill, but this sells for about $8 on eBay. This is not special cash. I didn't go purchase this separately. This money that just came as change from someone else or straight out of an ATM machine. And if you just know these few things to look out for, $100 bill came from an ATM machine, and I think this bill is going to sell for 150 to 175 dollars let's duck into a thrift store real quick shall we this is my old air fryer old air fryer is going to this old thrift store and while we're here you know what we're doing new places new adventure new thrift store new iced coffee opportunity so we're headed in i didn't know what to think I, this area seemed like a little sketchy to me but uh, you know i am just a confused gentleman in this world so I did find this uh, this this media rack as soon as I walked in, and at first glance, it didn't seem too promising. However, I found this cool. I saw on top it said Wildlife and Disney, so I decided to check it out. And this is something I have actually never found before. It's this like uh, legendary uh, le uh, legacy collection. This Disney uh, True Life Adventures, and it seems to be. I don't know, like nature DVDs, and it sells for roughly $25 all in. And then I find next to it this this Blu-ray, brand new, still wrapped up in plastic, and this sells for almost 35 bucks. So I was pretty shocked, actually. And at $3 and $4, count me in, score. Basically, simply, you're just looking for patterns within the serial numbers themselves. This particular $1 bill, you can see there, 01800810. It's a palindrome. It's a particular pattern. There's a lot of collectors out there. This has real value. These numbers are unique and you can recognize these patterns really simply. This actually has two things going on. There's another thing and it's called a trinary. It's when a bill, a serial number only has three separate characters, meaning it has only zeros, ones, and eights. That's called a trinary bill. And if it only has two digits, say this only had zeros and ones, that would be called a binary bill. If there's a pattern on it or something super unique, you can almost guarantee that it's gonna be worth more than the face value. I only had about 15 minutes to get through this thrift store. I had a lot to do this day, but I think I might want to come back. So I think there's potentially some cool vintage t-shirts in here to, to pick through. I found this game, Guess in 10, selling for a couple bucks. And I don't, I'm too old for guessing. Just tell me what to do with my life. Uh, Amazon says it's worth 15 bucks. It's not selling for two. So I'm taking this home. I can make like three, four, five bucks. Found this isolated, lonely game, One Night Werewolf. Uh, I looked it up on Amazon, selling for 25 bucks. However, I am restricted. So I did check it out on eBay and it's only selling for about 15 bucks but it is only uh, I'm only spending two bucks so I think I can get like five bucks out of this and it seems to be pretty popular so it should sell pretty fast this old VTech phone I'm highlighting this because a lot of people pass over for old phones and, and you shouldn't it's funny it's selling for five dollars at the thrift store but it's, you know somebody who was trying to sell for three bucks the, that old uh, inflation at the at the thrift store but this one was worth about 25 bucks um, and I did plan on actually purchasing this but when I looked at the phone there's a lot of grime so I could normally clean it but it seemed like it was in the holes and everything and I didn't want to deal with it but 
I do look at phones and I sell a lot of phones, so keep an eye out for them. There's not a specific pattern on this bill. However, this is a very low serial number, meaning 7,888 people pay for really low serial numbers. If, again, I'm no expert. I just happen to know that there's patterns and some have more value. This is called a repeater. This is also a trinary. It has just ones, zeros, and eights. This touches upon a few of the categories for collectors. One, that it's a repeating number. 1108 repeats. Also is a trinary as it only consists of three different numeric digits. I do think I could put this up on eBay for 150, 60, 70, maybe $180. And I'm going to link an article below just to get a little bit of knowledge on this stuff can really make you some, some easy money. It literally takes less than a second to just scan the serial number and see if there's any kind of pattern going on. I was scouring the shelves here. I found these old hands things that looked kind of interesting and when I turned them over they were Pampered Chef. This first one it has a name on it and I think it was actually it's a 20th anniversary in somebody's name so I, after a little research I found out it was actually like a, a gift from the company to that person for their 20 year service. I found this other one uh, both set were only selling for a buck but even this one brand new is only selling for like six or seven bucks. So uh, I left those behind, but Pampered Chef, obviously a brand to keep an eye out for. Really selling your cash, your actual cash on eBay to turn it into more cash is, it's no different than selling actual merchandise and turning that into cash. It's just in a different form. See, this cost me this much. And when I sell this, I'm selling it for this much. No different, just different form. Especially if you're a stripper, your thong might be stuffed with what looks like $128, but that $128 might actually be full of cash that actually has some really cool and unique and funkadelic serial numbers that make that $128 worth $200, $250, or $1,000 doll hairs. I'm sitting here editing this video. I do want to bring up the fact that just because you can sell these bills on eBay doesn't necessarily mean you should especially when we're talking about the higher denominations, like this $100 bill that I'm talking about in this particular video. It is $100, I do think I can get roughly $150 to $175. However, if I take this $100 and spend it on actual merchandise in a thrift store or at a flea market or what have you, I do actually think I can turn that $100 into a lot more than the $175 in sales that I would get on eBay. And then after you take out eBay fees and shipping costs and everything, that $100, I might only get a return of say 40 to 50 ish dollars. And if I go to a thrift store in that context, I wouldn't spend $100 on any particular item only to make 50 bucks. That doesn't really make much sense. So do keep that in mind as well. Some of the $1, the lower denominations in this video, Sometimes when they can sell for 15, 20, 25 dollars or more, and it's only a dollar, that's a pretty good deal. And they do. Uh, I would think personally, I would sell that dollar bill when it's selling for 20, because I would make that deal at a thrift store if it's something for five dollars, and the five dollar bill is only selling for say 15 dollars. I'd probably spend that five dollars, despite it being worth 15, on something that I would make more money on at a thrift store. So really keep that in mind as you're watching this. The denomination of the bill, unless it's worth exponentially more than the face value of the bill take that into consideration before you sell it on ebay because you probably can turn a lot of the fives tens twenties hundred dollar bills uh, into something more than you would get on the return on ebay but the point of this video is i just wanted to make sure that people are aware that this even modern monday has these serial numbers and sometimes you can find some real gems and go on that that website that i i checked it takes five minutes to read through just get familiar with some of the patterns to look out for in the serial numbers because sometimes these five and ten and one and and all these dollar bills can ha have some exponentially high value and it takes two seconds to look through the bills that you're already carrying in your pocket and also within that article at the bottom of it there's a site that they list where you can look up actual serial numbers of bills and that site will tell you the, the, the estimated value of a bill based on the serial number. So you don't have to do much brain power of your own and you can kind of, that can help make your decision for you. So check out the website, check out both websites. I'll actually just put both below and let me know your thoughts on all this, this money stuff. Is it something that you're interested in or you think it's just kind of a waste of time and energy or do you have any bills? Check out your bills right now. Let me know if you have any uh, star notes or if you have any kind of cool serial number patterns on your bills. Interested to know. And hey, if you found any value in this video, you maybe you learned something, you had a little fun. Well, you know what? I sure did. So do that like and subscribe thing if you're so inclined. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Have a good day. See you out in the wilds.